Hey, what's going on? This is Stacy from Hands in the Dirt. Today we're gonna to be planting some strawberries and some Roselle hot biscuits. All right, I wanna give a big shout out to the Bull Gardening and also uh, Starduster 2. She sent me the Roselle hot biscuits. I got the strawberries from the Bull. Guys, make sure that you go check out the Bull and Starduster 2. The Bull sells uh, strawberries and different tree cuttings. So if you get a chance, Go and check him out and i'll put his email address in this uh, in this video so you can go check him out and see what he has all right let's get into it all right guys a quick look at these beds remember i said i was going to make some more beds i had enough material to make two more so i made these yesterday this is the one that i made from the bunk bed and that's the one that i made from the video right so i got four extra beds and i have a fifth one over there now for a suggestion, if you wanna learn more about uh, planting and growing uh, Roselle hibiscus or Jamaican sorrel, make sure you go check out Dan Permaculture Fo Food Forest and go check out AA Gardening. Uh, she's in London and she did a technique this morning. Uh, yesterday I watched one of her videos and it was excellent. So make sure that you go check out AA Home Gardening and tech, check out Dan Permaculture and Food Forest. So I'm gonna show you the technique that she used. I've already planted some directly into some cups, but I'm gonna use her technique to plant some more. All right, so what she did was AA Home Gardening. Excellent video, make sure you go check that out. What she did was she took her, oh Lord, I dropped one. She took her seeds and let them soak overnight in water. And that quickly, uh, the next day, they already had little roots coming out. So we're gonna try that technique. Like I said, I already have some planted directly um, into some soil, but we're gonna give this a try. Yeah, we're gonna give that a try, definitely. So I'll let that set out and these are gonna be the cups that I'll plant those in. All right. It says, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And he wrote a little note on the inside of it. He also sent me one of his cards. He sent me some seeds, some beet seeds. which are those. He sent me some white tomato, tomato seeds. I know I got to plant that. He's some Thai dragon hot peppers and some butter crunch lettuce and an abstaining um, tomato. So I'm putting that in the ground just to see what happens. And then here are the strawberries that he sent me. Look at that. All right, let's get ready to get this in the, in the dirt. First off, I just want to say, man, in this gardening community, you guys, y'all know how to ship live plants. This thing is excellent. The roots, this paper towel is, is wet. Everything is, the roots are vibrant. What an awesome community we have in the gardening community. All right, let me pull these roots a loose apart so we can get them planted. All right, I got them laid out. And look at, look at, look at that. Some of them already flowering. Look at the roots on it. The bull is the man. He is the man. There's some good stuff right here. So I'm gonna get these roots down in here. Get them buried nice and deep. When I wrote, uh, when I emailed them, I was telling them that uh, I hadn't grown strawberries uh, in probably about, I don't know, maybe 15 years, something like that. And uh, I had a good experience with growing them. The only bad experience about it was uh, the chipmunks eating my strawberries. The little rascals will wait till they get ripe too. They wouldn't eat them green. 
And as soon as it got right, tear that runner off. You come in and take one bite off of it. And that'll be that. So I didn't grow any more. It took me a while to get those strawberries out of my uh, bed. I grew them in my, in my bed, my garden bed. And it took me a minute to get them out. Uh, Cause they're almost like they're evasive. Like once they get in there, start growing, they were coming back every year, whether I wanted them or not. And then my auntie, she came over and she got her son and put in um, her island in the front of her house. And they were growing for they, growing for her for a long time. The roots on these things are excellent. I can't wait, y'all. Fresh strawberries. We go to this, it's a runner right here. We go to the strawberry patch out here. I think the one we go to is in Fayetteville, somewhere like that. Go down there every year and uh, pick fresh strawberries. It's one of those you pick places. something to do but it won't be nothing like having my own strawberry I can go out and you pick right in my own garden so the temperatures are rising here in Georgia um, we're still gonna get some cold nights I think Sunday night supposed to get into the 20s or something crazy but right now the weather is warm during the day. When I came in my greenhouse, um, it, it was actually 80 something degrees in here. So after Sunday, I'm gonna bring all of my starts out because I believe the greenhouse is staying warm enough from the heat during the day to protect my uh, It'll be warm enough here at night. To protect my starts. It'll definitely be warm enough for them to germinate. Alright. Last but not least. There we are. Got them all planted. I got a few more that I'm just gonna put in one of these uh, totes with uh, either one of my limes or one of these peppers. I just stick it on the side. All right, that's it, y'all. I got these strawberries uh, planted. I'm gonna water those in. The hibiscus, I'll come back tomorrow and see if they have the little roots coming out of the seeds using the technique that I seen on AA's uh, home gardening uh, channel. And then I'll plant those and see how fast they came up. Hers came up really quick. They sprouted, they germinated in like three days. I think the following week they was already up. So I hope mine does the same thing. I would love to get some of those and try that out and make some jams and the, uh, the uh, sorrel uh, drink and whatnot. I love to do that and also give away a lot of stuff to my friends and family so that they can enjoy it also. Stay from hands in the dirt and remember, if you have some seeds, put them in the dirt.